Hello everyone, my name is Jim McGivern and I am the president of your board of directors. Today we are here to give you the background to the development and of the River Club Complex and the River Club Complex Committee. So as background, in 2021 the Strategic Planning Committee was asked to rank the projects in the Pelican Sound five-year capital plan and there were two projects that required owner approval to proceed as their costs exceeded the 2.5% of the current year's budget. As a result, in February this year, an ad hoc resale capital amenity project committee was formed, with Neil Collins as chair and members Nancy DeLapp, Jim Fitzpatrick, and Barb Schultz to create a format to bring these projects to our owners for approval as the projects to be funded are to be funded from the internal sources of capital such as resale capital and replacement reserve fund with no member assessment. The River Club refurbishment with the addition of outdoor dining was scheduled for 2025. Hurricane Ian necessitated the board moving this updating of the River Club to 2023 as it made no sense to replace things as is and then look at upgrading the facility in 2025. So there are now really two phases to the River Club complex restoration. One is the restoration of the fitness center, plus the bocce courts, the sports courts, the dock, and the pools of the River Club in Island Sound. The second is the updating of the River Club, subject to owner approval, using intern internal sources of capital with no member assessment. To assist our General Manager and Chief Operating Officer, Eric Long, with these tasks, an ad hoc project committee was created at the October board meeting. Comprised of individuals who delivered our award-winning clubhouse and the original expansion of the Fitness Centre and River Club. Namely, Keith Merrill, Chair, Nancy Acker, Larry Fiesel, and Barb Schultz. I'll now turn things over to Keith Merrill to update you on all that has been happening. Hi, I'm Keith Merrill and as Jim just mentioned, the Board of Directors formed the River Club Project Ad Hoc Committee for the purpose of two purposes. One is to support Eric in the renovation of the bocce courts, the swimming pools, the fitness center, and, and the River Club frontage. We've been meeting on a regular basis. We started out right away. One of the first things we did was to hire Envirostruck, the general contractor, to support us in this reconstruction process. Our goal is to have this completed by the end of the year, but I want to tell you right now that everyone is competing for materials and contractors and so forth. And so one of the reasons for this video is each week or every two weeks or so to give you an update because realistically, we don't think we can complete it by year end, but we're going to give it our best. Eric, in a moment, is going to give you some detailed updates on where we are with that portion of the project. Our second objective is to rebrand, rebuild, give the River Club eating, dining, dining complex a new look. In this regard, we have met with a, con with a uh, designer, interior designer and architect. We're well on our way to to uh, redesign that complex. The good news is the building is sound. We, we will not build a new building. We'll keep the current building. <coughs> the uh, interior is basically decimated. The, the uh, tables are gone. The kitchen's gone. The bar is gone. So we have kind of a new, can give it a, a brand new look, including outside dining. Our objective there is to have that part of it completed by the year end of next year, fourth quarter of next year. Again, that's pretty aggressive. So that facility will not be available this season. So <clears throat> also to stop the rumors, mill, that facility will be funded by resale capital, replacement capital, and insurance proceeds. We don't intend to have any kind of special assessment. So anyway, we'll give you regular updates, keep you informed of what's happening, and I'm going to turn it over to Eric, who's going to tell you where we are currently. Thank you, Mr. Merrill. Welcome, Pelican Sound. Uh, so we are in the fitness center. 
Uh, just to give you an idea of where we stand, obviously, uh, Mr. Merrill mentioned we hired Envirostruct as our general contractor. We're working through the uh, various trades right now. As you can see, uh, the flooring, uh, the remediation process has been completed. We have a clean bill of health as far as our air quality for this room, and uh, we're going through all the steps. So just to give you an idea, if you want to walk through here. Obviously, uh, we have all the drywall removed, the uh, flooring, and then uh, our equipment, we're just waiting on some of the things with the insurance adjuster, but uh, all the equipment is completely totaled. Um, and as far as what I'm paying through here. So we're in the cardio space right now. Uh, so some of the things that we're moving forward with right now, we have ordered the flooring already. So uh, we met with the uh, fitness committee, project committee, finance committee, reviewed the uh, flooring. Uh, we placed the order for that. All the equipment, uh, we have placed the order for the cardio and strength equipment. We met with the uh, fitness committee on that and obviously the finance committee. And we're moving forward with that. I did to update the board uh, to, at today's meeting. Uh, we have issued the contract for all the electrical work, so all the electrical will have to be replaced in all the outlets around here. Um, we will be, uh, uh, the drywall contract has been ordered. Uh, we have drywall coming in next week. Um, also the um, electrical contractor is starting next week as well. As far as the flooring, uh, our best case scenario is at the end of December that we'll get the flooring and hopefully we can uh, speed up the process of getting that installed as quick as possible. As far as the first parts of the equipment, the cardio uh, is a lead time of four to six weeks. So best case scenario, we have that by the end of December. The strength equipment, we're looking more at a 16 week lead time. So that's more like, likely to happen in February, uh, but we hope to have the gym open. Uh, just not all the uh, equipment will be here. And if we pan over, um, the studio has to be rebuilt, so we have two different flooring. So here we have a, a rubberized flooring, and then in the studio is more of a laminate, but it has a wood tone look to it. The bathrooms um, have to be completely redone, so we have the tile already um, ordered for that, and they'll start the work process on that. Um, and then as far as the studio, uh, we're going to float the floor because it's a some of the existing flooring uh, was a little off, so we have to do some adjustments there. And then the biggest obstacle that we have in this entire space, if we kind of pan this way, is our elevator. So we've executed the contract for the elevator. Unfortunately, a lot of the components have to be replaced on that. And as of right now, uh, the contractor is stating at the end of uh, December, they'll be able to start the process, not complete the process. So uh, we still have some uh, unknowns out there, but we're working through it. And I'd like to show you some other things here in a second of what else is going on. But uh, thank you very much and looking forward to the progress here at Pelican South. So we're located inside the main dining room space of the River Club. Uh, this is where we had our first project committee meeting with the designer and architect and civil engineer. So we're going through the process right now of reviewing our current documents and seeing the potentials for the future of what we want the redesign to look like. So stay tuned for more of what this space will look like. But you can see if you paint over to the bar area, that had to be completely removed. Um, and then obviously all the flooring and drywall and the kitchen space is completely redone. Let's, let's go take a look at the kitchen so you can kind of see. So the kitchen space is obviously just a shell right now. We will most likely have to replace all the walk-in coolers uh, because of the water damage. Uh, we do have some of the pieces of equipment that we might be able to salvage, but for the most part, it's a total rebuild. So uh, we'll see. Stay tuned for more, and uh, we'll keep you updated as, as things progress. So we're in the uh, River Club parking lot right now. We do have uh, two big Connex trailers in here that will store some of the equipment that we need uh, for the process of the re rebuild of the fitness center and the River Club. So you'll see this here for quite a 
quite a bit and then we also have some disposal uh, areas as well so uh, please know I know it's a little bit of an eyesore but uh, this is all part of the rebuild and looking forward to uh, what's to come in the future. So we're at the boat launch here and uh, we have our personal uh, dock here that uh, will be taken away on Wednesday. They're going to start bringing this in. Uh, we do have the contractor ready to build us a new dock and we're going through the process right now but we're going for more of a um, composite material so it will last longer uh, for the future but uh, they'll start removing this on Wednesday. As far as the kayaks, uh, we do have to rebuild a couple of the uh, stands here, uh, so we'll work on that within the next few weeks. Um, but I will say, uh, as you can see from uh, Mark Goldstein put out some messages on the river, it's really uh, not the safest place to be right now, and we'll have to see as far as the water quality long term. But at right, at right now, it's really not safe to be uh, going down the kayak right now. Hello everyone, we are at the boat shuttle dock. Uh, we have it brought back from the Riverwoods Plantation that it was sitting on. That would be one of the largest cranes in the area had to come and uh, bring it down off the uh, Riverwoods Plantation. So we were able to get this back um, and uh, now it's ready to be able to use it at some point in time. Obviously, um, the uh, lover's key is at a place where we can't go at this point in time. We're working with the uh, vendor uh, of the boat shuttle to see long term what we can do. But at this point in time, we're really looking at the uh, safety of going down the river and where we can actually uh, dock as far as at the beach. So this is stay tuned for more. But as far as utilizing this, uh, we have it. It's safe uh, to at least look at, um, but uh, we're not ready to go down the river yet. Yeah, so we are at the River Club pool, and right now, uh, obviously, you can see behind us, we still need some cleanup to do in this area. So within the next uh, few weeks, we'll start uh, doing the remediation of this area. And as far as the equipment, we have ordered some of the equipment. Some of the other things are some delayed, and we're going to work through that. But we hope to do our best to try to open this space by the end of the year. The same with the bocce courts and the sports court area. So we're working through it. Um, there is some challenges as far as getting equipment, uh, but we're uh, you know, taking the charge and we're moving through and uh, looking forward to this area being uh, ready to use, hopefully by the end of the year. So the process will be, the uh, fitness center hopefully will be open, so the restrooms will be available. The pool area will be open, but the River Club restaurant will have obviously uh, going through the construction phases so we'll probably have this uh, walled off uh, during this time but uh, the idea is during the peak time we'll have some type of food service in this area uh, so when you have families in town you have a place to go um, if you don't have to go to the golf club so looking forward to it All right, so we're at the bocce courts. Uh, we have started the remediation process of the bocce courts. We're going to take the poles and the posts down uh, probably within the next uh, two weeks. And we're gonna make it where it's playable for the season. Uh, we're not gonna rebuild the awnings right now. We're working with the um, bocce committee on potentially what we wanna replace this with. And realistically, long-term, we wanna make sure it's right for us so we'll do that most likely starting in April, but we'll have umbrellas in the area and seating uh, available in the near future. But uh, as of right now, we still need to remove these posts and uh, we'll work through that hopefully within the next few weeks and hopefully we can open this up uh, by the end of December. So we're at the kiddie playground and the sports court area. So obviously we removed the uh, playground. Uh, we're still researching uh, what we want to replace this with. We're looking at different composites uh, so it will last long term. So we have not put the order in for this, but uh, we'll make sure the space is available potentially for other activities while we uh, decide on what we're going to rebuild. And then as far as the sports court slash uh, pickleball courts, uh, we need the fencing to be replaced or fixed uh, before we can open the courts. So that's one of our priorities and we hope to have this ready by uh, the end of December. So we're working through that right now. And then as far as the awnings, we haven't put the order in for that, but uh, we'll most likely put the order in soon for this awning uh, shaded cover. So we're at the Island Sound Pool. Uh, so the, sp the spa and the pool are being uh, 
cleaned out uh, as we speak and we're working through trying to get uh, all this ready by the end of December. Uh, we do have to replace all the equipment in this area so lead times on, on, on equipment is very difficult so we're working through that uh, but we have acid wash the first stage of that and we'll do it again um, but you'll see some uh, workers out here in the near future getting this cleaned up and we hope to have this uh, remedied by the end of the year. Again, this is all based off of materials as far as equipment and when it's available. But stay tuned and we'll look forward to uh, opening these spaces in the near future. I also just wanted to mention the Hammock Green Spa. We do have uh, inspections on Wednesday and Thursday of this week and hopefully uh, those move through and we can get this uh, spa open before too long. Uh, but we're working through that as well and there's still the permit on the fence that needs to take place but we hope to get this done very soon and we apologize for any inconvenience.